Mega Chad. Absolutely face invader. speeding train. I chose instead to go the other way. After camping a few times, Melina comes by and offers me an accord. I turn it down because I think it's funny. I then proceed to kill Morgoth and Godric before I realize I haven't leveled up. How was I supposed to know I had to say yes? Miyazaki, just because I'm offered the ability to talk to a woman, doesn't mean I'm going to take it. I think that's a symptom of bad design. Conversely, I fell for the oldest trick in the own journey. Once, I saw a white phantom appear. Teabag, a dead NPC. In this moment, I knew I was playing a masterpiece. Messages and appraisals are exactly how Reddit users believe. You and your lame ass point of view. That should have been my whole mission from the start. You put it together, I tear it all apart. What? Gotta get mine, stepping through this minefield. And what's not mine becomes mine. You mind? That's the way I gotta take it from the man's. Put a price up on the fans, I put let up in the stands. It doesn't matter who the target is. You know I'm gonna finish it once I get it started, kid. That's the way I gotta market it. Marks been mercenary, making all your heart skip. And I can turn you in a parts quick. Put you in a box and ship you off the yard six with an omelet. Real original. Where do you find that one, bud? Damn, son, where do you find this? Goodbye, little Lucas. A tea monk? Sorry to disappoint you. Assassin afterward. The two decided to face off WrestleMania 26, where Triple H was supreme. Sheamus wasn't done yet though, and a rematch was set up for the next pay-per-view, Extreme Rules. This time, the Celtic Warrior got the better of the game and defeated them. After this loss, Triple H was absent from the game. The reason for this was to focus on the team involved in behind the scenes of the company. It wasn't until he betrayed Dean Ambrose in the Roman Reigns. Triple H was the team of faction while also being a mentor to Rob. However, there was a thorn in the game's side, the stick. The icon made his lot of way with debut in the beat and caused trouble for the authority. This ultimately led to Triple H and Sting going one on one at WrestleMania 31. The game proved why he's that good and defeated the Stinger in the icon in the first of the match. For the rest of 2015, Triple H continued to appear regularly and ended up becoming the new champion, which angered the game. Cerebral Assassin came out and was surprised by the match. From Ric Flair, Triple H was able to defeat the King Stud and end the night with a match that high. Ironically, not long after defeating one former company, Triple H wrestled another, Randy Orton. It was announced that the two would clash with the King Stone and Jetta Saudi Arabia. It wasn't clear for the time, but this would be the game's last match in WWE. Randy Orton was the first to enter, but was hit with a clothesline and sent right back down to the pit. Orton put on another side headlock, each broke free, and the two began to take punches. Knee face break. He then attempted another pedigree, but the Viper countered and catapulted him to the corner.
like a little elf. Even got the little twirls on my on my feet. I'm a little evil boy's elf. Oh no! And, but why that? 